Hello one and all and welcome to Seeing Through Glass and welcome to a very early start to the STG Euro trip. So it is 4.03 in the morning. Strangely enough I'm really awake in the mornings, I'm just kind of a morning person. Anyway, we're in the car, I think I've got everything, I just had to check, I've got my passports, got my Euro tunnel crap and we are going to get on our way. I'm not going to be vlogging that much this morning though because I just want to get to the Euro Tunnel, check in and then we will regroup. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So we are at the Euro Tunnel. Um, I didn't really realise that sort of checking in and everything like that happened so quickly. So I was just minding my own business and I was like, oh shit, we're here. <laughs> So I've just seen the most amazing like service station building, so I'm going to pull over, buy a bottle of water, go to the loo and get all my cameras set up, because soon we'll be in France! <laughs> Look at that! That sign. France! I love that. This way to France! <laughs> amazing. It's quite a weird thing, isn't it, boarding a train like this? Doggies! Oh, there's a very nice Aston up there. DB9? Oh no, DBS. It is a DBS. Yeah. Uh. A bit bumpy though, I have to say that. Uh. Uh. Imagine if you drove the whole way to France like this. I feel like I'm in a Bond film. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I've had far too much coffee this morning. Sorti, le exit. I don't really speak any French at all, so I don't know why I'm trying. Ross, remember, drive on the right hand side. Petrol, it's BP! So we can get some crazy super unleaded stuff. And I'm hoping they have a fantastic coffee machine. So I'm ready for a biscuit and a cappuccino. <gasps> There's a Burger King! Frickin' mega! So I've managed to grab myself a croissant and a coffee to refuel. And I've just pulled over to take two seconds just to have a bit of a breather. I'm probably going to get out and stretch my legs. I am crazy impressed by how well the 4C is doing. So we have turned off the main motorway and I'm headed into Dijon to get some lunch because I thought it would be nice just to stop, have a proper break, stretch the legs, refuel. Well, so far Dijon is not the picturesque quaint French village I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, hello ladies. Oh, little French mademoiselles. Let me park somewhere, I'm so hungry. Uh, no, I won't fit in there. Sorry, I don't know if you're supposed to cross the road or not. What's the rules of zebra crossings? It's all so confusing! Why did I do this to myself? Why not just go to Burger King on the motorway? This was such a weird decision, but I had this sort of like romantic French idea that I'd come to some quaint little village. This guy's going, so I'm just going to go in the spot. I can't see any signs anywhere. Oh, there's a pain display right there. Fantastic. So I just finished up some lunch here in Dijon and uh, just waiting to get back in the car, stretching everything out. It's been about, well, it's now, what? 1.30, which is 12.30 UK time. I set up at 4 a.m. So do the maths on that. And we've got, there you go, six hours and 12 minutes still to go. So... <laughs> I think we're probably about halfway and the car is just being such a beast it is eating up the motorway miles i started off without the pillow i've added the pillow back in i've got my music on camera's going and it is great so i'm really bored now i'm really bored these 
monsoons, these like Indian monsoons, have just ruined my life. So I have now been in the car for officially over 12 hours. <laughs> I mean, this is a disaster. So I left the house at 4 a.m. UK time. It's now 6 p.m. in France, which means about 5 p.m. I stop for lunch, I take away that hour. Anyway, it equates to more than 12 hours in this car. And the depressing part is, so, I mean, it says two hours 44 still to go, which seems like nothing now, but that looks like more rain. I'm just so fed up of this like monsoon torrential rain. So it's pouring with rain, I'm stuck in awful traffic in Leon, and then suddenly there's a tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! Damn to entertain myself, right? Put that in there, put that in there, let's get out of the rain first. Windows down.